what's up youtube fam it's armani i'm here today and i will be showing you guys how i make my room and linen spray which can also be used as car spray which the majority of the people that purchase it from me use it as anyway right here i'm just showing you guys all the utensils i'm using to make this product right here is my digital scale i got from amazon for 10 11 dollars and of course i used prime so i got it in one or two days Right here is my fragrance oil. I'm using Jolly Rancher Watermelon. Smells just as sweet as the candy. This is my preservative I got from Wholesale Supplies Plus. If you're making any kind of body products, they have everything you need. This is polysorbate, which combines the water and the oils together. It's definitely a necessity when you are mixing oils and waters, because if you don't know, oil and water does not mix you will have oil in one direction and water in the other direction right now I'm just gloving up oh hold on I forgot to show you guys that I get my distilled water from Walmart 97 cents this will be the base of the product this is what the product will be mostly made out of this pouring spout which is also a measuring cup i got off of wholesale supplies plus as well for three or four dollars they have free shipping 25 dollars or more so i always spend over 25 dollars they give me every time even if it's a couple of cents above 25 dollars your whole order will be shipped for free anytime that i'm unboxing it's most likely from them. I absolutely love their website. They have everything. Right here, I'm just pointing the distilled water. I think I make six bottles this go around. Right here, I'm clearing out my scale. Make sure it says 0, 0.0. I'm adding my preservative. Preservative keeps um, all the bad things from growing inside your products like you know um, mold or organisms any of that nature like that's what the preservative does and I use the popsicle stick to like when I'm pouring it I stop it with my popsicle stick which I got from Dollar Tree you get a whole pack of a hundred I think for a dollar I'm extra y'all so I'm trying to get every last drop the stuff is thick, so it's kind of hard to to just, you know, wipe off of that stick. Okay, I'm adding the polysorbate, but first I'm clearing out the scale. You have to make sure it's zeroed out. You don't want your measurements off. I don't know what I was, oh, I was probably looking at my, yep, I was looking at my notebook to make sure. I double check every time. I done made this spray hundreds of times, but I double check on every amount to make sure that everything is accurate. Using the popsicle stick too, because that's thick as well. Zeroing out the scale once again. Now I'm adding my fragrance oil. Which I believe is 0 0.6 ounces of that. And again, I'm, that's what my popsicle stick is for. To stop my oils when I'm pouring it. That's all. It's not a necessity. You can actually use the spoon, the same spoon that you're going to mix the oil and the water with. You can use that to stop it. I'm just extra, y'all. So right here, I'm just mixing, stirring, combining, whatever you want to call it. I'm just mixing all of it together. I'm telling you, that spout really comes in handy when you are pouring it in these spray bottles. 
right now I'm just using these the little two ounce travel size spray bottles so they fit right in my bottles are sanitized I sanitize all of them and put them in a put them in a baggie aren't they cute they're the cutest I'm taking out six of them all right I'm bringing my scale back because like I said I these are my two ounce bottles so I like to make sure that everyone gets I was just showing you guys how cute they are and how little they fit in your hand or how good they fit in your hand but I like to make sure that all the bottles get the same amount so I I measure out two ounces exactly each bottle and I normally have extra liquid left inside my measuring cup so after I make sure that each bottle has two ounces I do go back with the extra and fill you know all the bottles up with the extra that's left inside so right here see I'm just measuring out each bottle is two is two ounces I put the bottle on first to make sure that the scale is zeroed out and then I fill it up I always put the bottle on first and then tamper it out so they don't count so the scale doesn't count the weight of the bottle as you know part of the two ounces because I really like I want two ounces of fluid to be counted I don't want the bottle weight included I'm real precise when it comes to my to my products you guys and I and I'm a little I'm a little on the OCD side as well anybody that really knows me knows that now right here I am like I said I had some extra so I'm just going back and topping off each bottle You guys, this fragrance smells so good. It smells just like the Jolly Rancher candy. The watermelon one, which is everybody's favorite. I believe I'm grabbing the tops of the spray bottles, which I, pur I purchased these bottles from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm counting out six of them. Oh, these actually came this long, you guys. I literally had to cut the end of the tubes so they could fit inside the spray bottles. And I ordered, they come in 12s, and I ordered 48 of them. So I literally had to cut down 48 spray bottle tops, th those tubes. I was doing it with a knife at first, and then my mom's husband was like, oh, use these which are like wire cutters or something, and it went so much quicker. I wish he would have came in when I first started. Right here, I'm just putting on the tops. And that's pretty much it, you guys. It's just that simple. And that is Jolly Rancher Watermelon Room and Linen Spray. Thank you for watching. See you soon.